today I am going to the motorhome. It's been in storage for a few weeks now, and it's always good to get over there and get it running for a while. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna run the engine, run the generator, um, have the air conditioning running, since I'll be in it for a little while. And I gotta make it quick because it's, let's see, it's 20 after nine in Arizona. And, uh, whoops, forgot to put the seatbelt on. Okay, just put my seatbelt on, can't forget that. I never forget that, usually, so, anyway. So, it's 20 after nine in Arizona. It's gonna be 111 today. So it gets hot pretty fast. So I wanna get there, get that done, and get home before it gets too hot. I also have in there a little tiny TV that um, it's only like maybe a four inch screen, <laughs> something like that. It's really small. But what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna keep it where my computer desk is because where that is, I can't see the TV. And right now I am digitizing a lot of my wife's pictures and everything I need for that is right there and I can't move it to where the TV is. So I can watch TV while I'm doing that. Generally I'll watch YouTube stuff, but sometimes you just want to watch TV, you know, TV show that you like. So anyway, that's where I'm headed to. So this is the TV I was telling you guys about. It's small, you can connect a coaxial antenna to it. It's just good size for at your desk, you know, when you're working on a computer. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use it for. I really like it, it cost me like a hundred bucks many years ago and uh, still works good. I thought of a little trick for myself. You see, we have a 30 foot class A motorhome. It doesn't have a backup camera. I don't usually need it. I can usually back up pretty fine. You know, I can do it the first shot usually. Uh, using the mirrors works pretty well. But if you want to uh, cheat a little bit, if you have unlimited data on your cell phone plan, get an app called Alfred. And that is um, like a security camera kind of app. And it looks like this, the one right on top there. That's Alfred. Alfred camera it's called. What you do is you can uh, link it between your two devices. You put one in the back window of your rig and the other one up front where you're driving and you can see outside your back the whole time you're driving. And when you need to back up, you can just back up and see where you're going. So uh, I tried it, it worked pretty well. I don't have the tablet with me now, so I forgot to bring it, but uh, I would have showed you how it worked. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool thing. So let me show you something I did in the RV, just for a little extra advertising for our YouTube channel. I think it's a good attention getter and I've had good comments on it. So. Uh, I put this in the back window of the motorhome as we're driving. Uh, you can't really see it during the day, mostly at night. So uh, yeah, check it out. Isn't that a kick? I love it. Well, folks, since it is summertime in Arizona, it gets up to 112, 115. I think the record was 122 one year. It's just too hot to travel. Our air conditioners, they work. You gotta run the generator the whole time. It uses a lot of gas, so we don't do that much. We take little weekend trips, usually with the car. Uh, sometimes we'll take the motorhome just locally, you know, off the freeways, just, you know, places to get away for the day kind of thing sometimes overnight so uh well not usually overnight just for the day because <laughs> uh, if we're not in an rv park we don't have hookups so we don't do that so uh yeah we've just been uh, hibernating pretty much waiting for the winter to come and can't come soon enough so we're uh let's see july or september october yeah, we got about four months to go usually by the second week of november as far as i'm concerned is when it stays steady cool enough to be outside before that 
temperature goes up and down, it teases us all the time. So anyway, I'm just sitting in our motorhome, just got the engines running and letting it run a bit. Uh, air conditioner is working good, thank goodness. And uh, yeah, so that's the story. Okay, so this is my computer area. This is the one I do all the editing on. And this is the one I transfer the pictures to Google Storage. Okay, so I just want to show you guys how I do my digitizing. So what I do is I take a picture. This is a picture, for example. And I have a printer here. So I put it in the printer. And then on my phone, I have a scanning app. It's the app for the printer. And you just hit scan. It shows on the printer and the phone that it's gonna be scanning here. Scanning document, scanning. And then the picture shows up when it's done on the phone. Now, you can scan more pictures and just keep hitting scan for each picture. When you're done, hit exit, then hit OK because it'll save it to the location. Then, I'll open the laptop. Okay, so I'm on Google where we have all our photos saved. I just click on Create, Album, and give it a name. For this, I'm just going to put Test. Then, go to my folders. This is my phone's stuff that's in it, go to the Canon folder, scan image, and there's my picture. Now you have to save the pictures from your phone to the computer, otherwise it won't transfer to Google Storage. So for now I'm just doing a new folder, move the picture over, over. So I just move the picture over, then take it, drag it down, and you can just upload them right there. So it says it's preparing, one item uploaded, and it'll show all your pictures. Right now, of course, it's just one because I just scanned one. And that's it. That's how easy it is to digitize your pictures. Now, later on, I'm going to edit them and rotate them correctly, crop them, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's easier to view. So that's how I do it.